everybody, John Sposato here from the Arizona Home Group at Keller Williams Sonoran Living. I'm with my longtime partner here, Sharon Caffini. You know, we've been helping people relocate to Arizona for close to 20 years. They have lots of questions about life in Arizona. One of the questions that invariably always comes up, of course, is water. Right? And inevitably, we tell them we have plenty of water because over half of our water comes from the Colorado River. It's reservoired up at Lake Mead, and it's brought to us by the Central Arizona Project, CAP as it's called, which is an artificial river that runs 330 36 miles, delivering one and a half million acre feet of water to Phoenix and Tucson. Now that water supplies three counties, Maricopa, Pinal, and Pima County, and that includes Native American lands. We've got the developed areas in the cities, industry, but by far the biggest water user is actually agriculture. A fun fact actually is that Lake Pleasant, which is in the Northwest Valley, it's actually a reservoir and part of the CAP system. So when the water is going up and down, it's actually when they're allocating water or reserving water. It has nothing to do with drought conditions. Yes, Arizona actually banks all of its unused water each year by pumping it into the underground aquifers that are around the basin. As we grow and developers go into agricultural land, we will actually use a lot less water. We're actually going to go talk to the town of Gilbert's water resources manager, Eric Braun, right now to learn a little bit more about it. Let's go check it out. So thank you, Eric, so much for coming out and talking with us today. So tell me, what does your position as water resources manager for the town of Gilbert entail? Well, I need to make sure that we have a water portfolio for the future of Gilbert, not just today, but the next 100 years. So we put together a robust water portfolio, working with our state and local leaders to make sure that we have good water policy in place to protect our consumers into the future. Well, since Gilbert has been the fastest growing city in Arizona for multiple years, how have you been able to plan for that growth where water's concerned? Well, you've got it right on. We've planned and we've prepared for the future. Acquiring water supplies in advance and building infrastructure in advance for that new development. What about recreation? So we have a lot of golf courses here and I know there's some water parks planned for Gilbert. How do you plan for that, keeping in mind that it's recreation and we do live in the desert? So we make sure that we are looking at those new developments as they come in. We're preparing with our infrastructure in place to be able to serve those needs. And then we reuse every drop of water that has been used one time in Gilbert. So that's what we use for those parks and those recreational features like golf courses. And I have to ask the question that's on everybody's mind. The famous water tower here in Gilbert, does it have water in it and what's it used for? Well, that's our icon. It was built in 1927. It was used for fire protection for many years, but it was retired in 1985. Okay. So there's no water in the water tower anymore. Now it's actually full of sand to help hold it down and keep that structure supported. <laughs> well, it makes a great backdrop and everybody loves the lighting at Christmas. Thank you so much for talking with Absolutely. us today. You know what's a great use of water? Beer. We're gonna visit Fate Brewery in Scottsdale where my partner Thea is gonna interview one of their brewmasters. Let's go. Hi, Thea here, and we are at the famous Fate Brewery in Scottsdale, Arizona. If Scottsdale loves something, it is breweries. And I am here with master brewer, Adam, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about a cool project that they had going on a few months ago. Yeah, we did the One Water Challenge with the city of Scottsdale and Scottsdale Arts, where they actually took reclaimed water and filtered it and delivered it to multiple breweries around the valley, where we brewed each a different beer with the water. We ended up winning that competition with a Vienna lager that we brewed. Really showcases how pure the water was. Very simple beer that had nothing to hide behind. Adam, can you tell me something unique and different about your brewery that someone might not find at other breweries? We have a large variety of beers that we brew throughout the year. We usually have at least 15 up to 19 beers on tap, including our award-winning Hatch Chili Gatos, which won a gold at the World Beer Cup and a bronze this year at the Great American Beer Fest. We gotta go try it now. All right. Let's do it. All right. So 
So from the Arizona Home Group, thanks for joining us for this episode about water in Arizona. If you'd like to visit us, we're at ArizonaHomeGroup.com or find us on Facebook or Instagram. And this is how the Arizona Home Group stays hydrated. Cheers! Cheers.